Hey, welcome back to being on the fandom. And if you're new here, welcome. Um, do not forget to turn on your notification bells and alert so you won't miss all types of content that goes down here at all of my channels, okay? And uh, once you do all that good, Josh, um, you will automatically be entered to enter the giveaway that I'm doing here at 1k in this video might as well i might just upload it on the marvel and dc theories just because this has to deal with henry cavill okay the big henry cavill so um y'all 40k henry cavill okay that's what we're going to be talking about in this video um the main article i'm pretty sure why a lot of people are here henry cavill's next play is warhammer 40,000 series for amazon now this is wild the streaming giant is in the process of closing the rights to the miniature or game i'm pretty sure they're going to close that deal i feel like it's already like solid i feel like it's already locked so henry cavill uh, may not be donning a red cape but he does have a cool new gig the actor who wednesday officially hung up his man of steel cape after warner brothers announced it is going in a new superman direction thanks to dc studio his james gunn and peter saffron um it is attached to star and executive produce a serious adaptation of warhammer okay forty thousand, the popular science fiction fantasy miniature war game that is set up at amazon so amazon has secured the rights to the game produced by games workshop after months of negotiations and uh, fending, of, uh, fending off rival companies that also uh, that also sought the rights. This is so um, envisioned, well, this is envisioned as a potential film in a TV play. Now, this is the interesting thing about this uh, being confirmed. Um, you know how a lot of people are probably like, well, he left The Witcher to come back as Superman. That was like the biggest theory, but no, it was probably for Warhammer. 40k now i'm going to actually play a clip um uh, of henry cavill which i was going to play at the very beginning of this video which i did um okay i did not decide to like not do that just because of the fact that uh i was like we'll save it for uh, the discussion of this video and um another main thing is pretty much a lot of people were probably here clicking this video is like 40k what is it what is it all about and why you should consider even thinking about getting into this lore i'll be getting into all that good jazz as well so uh here's a clip that um from netflix geeked actually of um pretty much henry cavill and um a lot of them a lot of them pretty much geeking out it's very interesting and um we're gonna get into that right now so check out this video geek out about henry let's start with you uh, specifically, which universe, or just? I mean, just say. Oh my goodness! Here we go. Here well, how long have you got? Well, you got so many, and I've got none. Yeah, yeah. Like, I was like, how much time do we so have? I, I, listen, I'll sit here all day listening. Uh, ruling out the Witcher. Yeah, not okay. the Witcher. Okay. Um, I mean, the easy answer is um, Warhammer Forty Thousand. That is my my jam. Um, <laughs> I have been into it since I was ten. What's and, your army um, at the moment? Uh, custodies. Ah, uh, yeah. I've, I'm going. I'm going Necrons next. Time. Necrons. Wait. Oh. Okay. All right. Cool. Were you we? into? Yes. Great. Were you into this before, or is oh, this yeah. a new thing? Just, oh. Let's just assume that anything nerdy I've been doing for a good thing. Oh wow, years. we could talk for hours. <laughs> yeah. No, so yeah. So pretty much, it's pretty cool that Henry Cavill has been in this for a while, and there's been like multiple interviews that uh, Henry Cavill actually has where he's talked about um, Warhammer. 40k so this is pretty, very interesting and i've told people for a very long time that you should know henry cavill is a big nerd slash geek slash dork as all of us and the fact that him being attached to this warhammer 40k is insane just because i feel like in my opinion personally that's the next level of like geekiness and darkness you can reach um if you ask me personally you know um it's it's very very interesting that like he's had like i said multiple interviews where he's expressed his interest in um 40k like that's a, like something that he uh does when it, obviously whenever he's not gaming and stuff because he plays world of warcraft as well 
but um yeah y'all like the whole thing of 40k let's get into that um aspect because i know a lot of people are like interested and probably like what the heck so yes it um pretty much all started as this miniature war game um as this like very very miniature war game in the world of popular in the uk that's uh one very very interesting and it's a board game um it, but I, I just can't say it's a board game because like when people think about that they're like oh okay it's a uh, not even more of a board game it's a uh, you know a uh, tabletop uh, of war gaming and the game is set in the grim darkness of the far future where pretty much mighty armies clash on the countless all right war turn to worlds and humanity stands alone beset on all sides by threats of the heretic the mutant and the alien there is no mercy there is no respite okay so that's pretty cool and you can actually go check out warhammer 40,000 um dot com to get more details if you're actually really interested in the board game like i highly suggest like back in the day i want to say uh for me it was a uh, early um 2000s is whenever i was playing with uh remember like playing with it but at that time i didn't even really know how big uh warhammer 40k was and it's i'm mean, like i said it's a very very massive thing that a lot of people do not realize like the 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 fandom with that is insane with you know obviously the collectibles behind it but it's the fact that you can build and you can paint and obviously you can play it's a lot with the with warhammer 40k it's a pretty cool hobby so um a lot of people actually are into it and like i said if you actually were interested to get into the uh, gaming side of it it um you should you should because they actually have like um like i said you can get the collectibles you can paint them you can build them and um obviously you can play it and the dope part about uh warhammer 40k is that they have like these little cut movies and it's very very bloody it's very very bloody now one thing um i want to get into as well is uh about 40k is we're going to be talking about certain um things with 40k like um certain of you know some of the characters and stuff because like i said some people might actually be intrigued by this and another cool thing is i'll be playing this ign video they just dropped the warhammer 40k space marine 2 from the ign awards um what well, for from the game awards uh you know from twitch recently so that's very very wild so you got xenos you got the necrons which um i love how the other guy was just like the necrons were some of his favorites um whenever he was chatting with uh henry cavill you got um pretty much uh the elders which is kind of like uh elves i guess you could say but um you also got the uh the dark elders and you also got uh chaos you got the orcs um the tyrannies and um i believe they're called the tayu um and like i said i'm not too much familiar with the names i'm like a very very huge dweeb in like a you know newbie when it comes to the whole warhammer 40k uh, but it was just you know giving y'all a quick update and like a quick quick brush down on, on the whole like um fandom and lore with uh warhammer 40k it is very very huge and like i said the fact that henry cavill has been into this for a while and um he's expect you know uh, expressed obviously huge interest in it um it's pretty gosh darn cool in my opinion personally so shout out to henry cavill and like i said y'all i can't wait to see this come to life because warhammer 40k um brought to life especially by somebody henry cavill and him playing and that is insane because this is like the next thing honestly um it's obviously people are going to get like mindset of game of thrones crossed with like space cross with like other things like i said the lore is huge there's so many different characters with aliens and um war it's a pretty dope aspect it really is a pretty dope aspect um aspect and i love it though so y'all let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below does warhammer 40k sound interesting to you do you think this is something that you might you know want to dive into in the future like i said this uh brought to life 
would be the next thing close to like like i said some people could even get across a lord of rings vibe not all the way but just a tad smidgen with like how long and massive the storyline with 40k but this 40k could go on for a very very long time so who knows we're gonna have to wait and see let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below uh, you know below once again though um shout out to everybody that stayed through this entire video we just want to take this um want to take this video i normally take one take all my videos but yeah y'all i mean i think this was very interesting that this was announced because i think this could work and i hope it works because i mean i'm not gonna even hope i know this is gonna work it's henry cavill henry cavill is top tier and um him bringing uh nerdy stuff like this to life is amazing who knows what else he is um you know gonna bring us so we're gonna have to wait and see i will catch y'all in the next video and live stream pretty much do live streams every day the links are down below and i will catch y'all in the next video and live stream much love